Okay, Lynn, so what we've got here is you're sitting at the table, your left hand is in normal position. You can't actually see your right hand um, because it's behind the screen. And in front of you, I've put a rubber prosthetic hand, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is show you how malleable your sense of body is. I'm going to start brushing or stroking your right index finger at exactly the same time as the rubber finger and in, in exactly the same place. Now as I do this, right now you're feeling touch on your right hand, but after a minute or so, you'll start to feel... Oh, that feels very strange. Touch. I'm starting to feel it in that hand. Okay. So you're feeling the touch. You feel that I'm touching you. On where? the hand. On the rubber hand. Yeah. If I get you to quickly close your eyes and point to your index finger with your left hand. Yeah. So that's pretty typical as well, where people will actually feel a displacement of their hand and that it's actually where this rubber hand is. <laughs> and the illusion is actually strong enough <laughs> that if you threaten or strike this yeah. hand, you actually have a genuine physiological response. That was um, very strong. I'm, 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 my heart's going. That's right. So I distressed some undergraduates doing that. Mm. Um, and if we put electrodes on you to measure the response, you actually get the same response, me striking this hand, as if I'd struck your real hand or your left hand. Wow. So it uh -huh. just demonstrates in only a minute that actually your sense of body and your sense of self is quite changeable and manipulatable.